Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, I'm out here in the shop, and I have this reindeer ornament that I just designed for another customer. And here we go. I'm going to jump into Inkscape and show you how to make it. First, we're going to go over here to the left side and click a circle. And then draw your circle here. You're going to click and drag. And this is going to be the bottom part of the reindeer. If you can see that, the bottom part of the reindeer's face. Now, I'm using a MacBook, so what I'm going to do is it's highlighted. I'm going to click Control D, and that Command D, and that'll duplicate it. But here's for the people who, who aren't using MacBook. So if you're not using MacBook, you can go up to the top here and click Edit and go down and then click duplicate so if you click that that's going to do the same thing we need a third circle anyways so we'll keep that um, let's see here so now what you want to do is make one of these circles slightly oops okay let me show you how to fix this you see how we can make this circle not shaped right and we can drag this thing all over the place we kind of don't want to do that Okay, so let's erase this one. Let's go duplicate again. And this is what you want to do. Go up here to this section here and click this padlock. That's going to lock it so that now the circle can only move in equal proportions. Okay, you want the circle to move in equal proportions. Now, here's the next thing. We're actually going to erase these again because and look I want to let you know that this padlock is for anything on this screen so it's not just one item the padlock will lock everything and make it move only in equal proportions so highlight the circle go up here to you have width the W here is width the H here is height alright so let's go over here and change it to inches so this is easier for us to read. That circle, I dragged that pretty much equal, but it's not It's not exactly equal. So let's type a number in here. Let's just type in four and then type in enter. So now it's, it's four and then it's 4.062, four and some change. But the big number is 4.0, 4.0. So this is an equal circle. All right, now that this circle is equal, let's duplicate it. All right, now this top circle, we want to shrink this down just a little bit and we want to put it here. Now, look, I want to remind you this is what the reindeer looked like. See, its face is bigger down here at the bottom and then smaller at the top. All right, so let's shrink this down just a tad bit more and now, I know what you're thinking. How do we make it even? How do we know that it's centered? Okay, you want to do this. You want to drag your arrow around both and highlight them both. Come over here to the right side. And this is the Align and Distribute button. Click on that. And then down here under the Align section, go down about one, two, three, four lines. And then you'll see here it says center on vertical axis click that and then you'll see that it just moved this right circle with well, this top circle over to the right and it centered it now here's the next cool thing we're going to do highlight this again go up here to the top go to um let's go to object and okay so it's not object go to path and here it is path click union now what that just did we just union those two objects together and it's stuck it's basically made those two circles one shape it made two shapes into one alright so now let me show you this again you see this white outline around this reindeer this is cut out the word is unioned to this outside here so this back piece, the brown piece, is the reindeer. 
but this white piece here is a separate piece. But the, the white outline and the name are connected together. So let me show you how to get that. All right, so you're going to highlight the face, and then you're going to duplicate it. Now, this is what we're going to do here. Duplicate it one more time. Okay? Now, change the color of this one. You can change it to whatever you want. Let's make it red. All right. Now, what you want to do is shrink this down just a tad. Shrink it down just a tad so that you see the outline. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Now what you're going to do is highlight both of them. Go up here to the top, click Path. Now what you want to do is click Difference. Now we just made that outline. So, of course, these are both the same color. So you want to change the color of this one. Let's make it black. See that? That's how you make that outline. Now the next thing that you want to do Go over here to the left side, and then you see this A, the letter A. Click on that. Now we're going to type in a name. Um, let's do, I don't know. Okay. All right. So now this, as you can see, let me show you one more time. This name is cursive, which means they all, all the letters connect together except this M, which I could have connected that M together. But I, I just didn't. Um, it's still connected to the, the outline here, so it all came off in one piece. But either way, you want these to be cursive for the most part because it looks nice, but then for two, they all connect together. And that makes it easier to union together. So go over here to the right side, and you see where we centered it? Go up here to the top and click this T. This is where you're going to find the fonts. Now. Yep, this is the same font I used before. This is Asthenia. And we're going to click on Asthenia and then go down here to the bottom right and click Apply. All right. Now, for this, you want to go up here, go to Object. Nope, you're going to go to Path and then click object to path. So now what that just did was turn that, it changed it from a font into a shape or it changed it from a font into a object. So highlight that, go up here, go to object, go to path, and then click, um, yeah, actually you want to go to object and ungroup. So when you ungroup that, it goes from selecting the whole word to just being able to select one letter. And the reason you want to do that is because of this. You want to click the D and just take a close look here. You see this space in between the D and the O? That's the same thing as the M and the U. Now, you don't have to do this step, but I just want to show you this. Select the D and then use your right arrow on the keypad to inch it over to that O. Now all these letters are touching. Now what you're going to do is go up to path and union. You just made that one again. Now what you're going to do, go up here to the reindeer, shrink it down just so it fits. You'd like to make it fit decently because you don't want this thing coming apart. You don't want it to be so so thin or whatever. So right here, this bottom piece of the D is attached. And then this D over here, two sides are attached. 
I'd say it's pretty good. It's a thicker font. This is going to cut just fine. So now, Donald and the outline are not connected. So what you're going to do is highlight those, go up here to Path, and click Union. Now that's one piece. Now you're almost there. All right. Here's another thing that you must do. This is a must do. All right. So make sure that this outline is there. You're going to click a circle because this is a tree ornament. You don't have to make it a tree ornament. All right. So what you're going to want to do is drag this circle over here. bring it to the top and then select both go back over here to the center and align center on vertical axis boom it just centered them now you're going to go to path and then union all right now you know what before we do that let's duplicate this circle command D duplicate Change the color of it, shrink it down a little bit, because remember we got to make a hole. We have to make a hole here so we can put our string so we can hang it on our tree. So once again, select both, align them. Now to make that hole, those are two circles, one big circle, one little circle. They're both selected. Go up here to path and difference. Now you have your hole. Now we're going to select the hole or the loop, and then we're going to select the reindeer head. Go up here, path, union. Now you have your reindeer where you can hang that on a Christmas tree. Okay, so this is a reindeer, but we need antlers, don't we? Here's the deal. We're going to make some antlers. But let me give you a little look here. This has antlers and this has ears. So let's go ahead and make the ears first. As you can see, the traced part is just the traced part in the name. The antlers and the ears are all a part of this back piece. So we're going to move this traced piece off and then we're going to make the ears here separately. So um, let's see here. Let's use the draw freehand lines. No. Draw. Yeah. Draw freehand lines. Let's see what this does. It kind of smooths it out after you finish it. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's try again. So, um, <clears throat> Let's do, let's do this. Draw bezier curves in straight lines. Let's do a dot here. Go here. See how this is kind of curving? And this is literally all you got to do. It's, it's just freehand. I mean, it's not really freehand, but it's kind of just, just being creative. You're just, just guessing. You're just guessing at this stuff, honestly. Okay. That looks like a fine reindeer ear. I'm telling you guys, this it's really this simple. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and tip this down a little bit. Let's make them like this. All right, now here's the here's the cool part. All we're going to do is duplicate this again and then go up here to the top. And let's see, this says flip selected object horizontally. Click that. Boom. So now you have two ears that are exactly the same. And then you want to straighten this out. So now how do we how do we straighten this? You have to click one at a time. Click this left ear, select the reindeer, 
and then you want to click um, align left edges nope Eh, you know what? Just eyeball it. I don't think I remember doing that. Just eyeball it. That's straight. Now, highlight all, everything. Go up to path, union. There's your ears. Now let's make some antlers. Go back up to draw bezier curves and straight lines. We're gonna start right here at the top of the reindeer head, just after the ear. You're gonna click, let's go up here. And you're really just, just whatever you feel, man. Just make you some reindeer ears, some, some reindeer antlers. All right, yeah, that looks nice. I, I really like the way that turned out. So click that, duplicate, and then flip horizontal. Just get those as, ev as even as you can. Highlight everything. And then path, and then click union. There it is. So, last thing here, if you want to do this, just make you an oval. It goes right down here. So, there's Rudolph. You just made Rudolph. Um, if you want to make eyes, you can add eyes to it, but it looks fine just like this. I hope this was helpful. If this helped you out, go ahead and like and subscribe. Also, if you do this design, come back to the video and then just type below, hey, this was easy, or I did this, it turned out fine, whatever it is, so then other people can know that this is going to help them. So, if you have any questions, let me know below in comments. Thanks. Bye.